everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do my shop my stash for the month of october this is a little bit late um but i have some items rolling out is my project 10 uses slash shop my stash now i am aware that last video i did roll out quite a lot of items that i did not hit 10 uses on and a few of you were disappointed in me which i'm very sorry about but i do use this project as a way for me to get through my items so as much as i understand i also am going to be realistic with the fact that if i don't want to use it five more times i'm just not going to do it having said that though i'm not rolling out anything today that i haven't hit 10 uses apart from one item so hopefully that's all right actually two items but one of them is a five use item which is an eyeshadow palette um and then everything else is 10 uses so yeah last video i did say that when i roll an eyeshadow palette i'm going to reduce the amount of times i want to use it so instead of 10 uses but i do want to use every single shade at least once um but regardless of that. This is my update. I'm excited to roll a lot of items out today. I did go away in September, so I took some of these items with me, so I got a fair bit of use out of them. Ones that normally would just sit here for a little bit longer because I'm pretty slow on like lip products and stuff, but I do have some lip products that I'm rolling out this month. I've only been in for a month because I did take them with me and I did get some good use out of them while I was away. So yeah, let's get started because these videos are super, super long. Um, I will start with all of the items that I'm going to be rolling out first. So the first one's going to be the Alva from Odin's Eye. This one I've used five times, but I've used every single shade at least once now. I'll put up a before picture, but I don't think it looks too different if I'm honest. Probably a little bit more disturbance. Um, I am doing a one week one palette and I am going to feature this one in a video. It might not be this month, it might be next month, but I did put a poll on my community tab and this one and another one were the two that voted the highest. So I actually have started filming that and I have done a few looks of it. Um, so that's why I was able to get the five uses pretty fast because I started doing that one, but that one is rolling out. Next up, we've got my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You can see it started to settle, so this one has changed quite a bit. Um, I really like this foundation. I took it with me, so I <laughs> ended up using it a lot. This one I used 14 times this last month. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be rolling that one out. I also took with me the e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer. This was in the project the previous month and I hadn't hit my 10 uses so I thought let me keep it in for one more month. So last month I actually used this I think only a handful, yeah five times so I only wanted to, I only needed to use this five more times this month but I ended up using it uh, seven more times and this is what it looks like it's gone down a lot this one's looking like this now it has gone down quite a bit but I have not hit the bottom yet or have not hit pan but I did get a fair bit of use out of it so that is exciting I really do like this primer quite a bit next up we've got my L'Oreal concealer this one I don't think there's any windowing I did use this 13 times this last month um, and you know, it's decent. It, does, it doesn't It does do a good job at brightening, I've noticed, but it is a good, like, spot concealer and, like, just to, like, make my skin look a little bit more decent. So I have uh, used it along with my foundation quite a bit. Then I have the So Dope by Makeup Obsession. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution setting spray. It's the Makeup Fixing Spray with Cannabis Sativa. And, yeah, it's, um... I think at this point I'm about here. I have used this, how many times? <laughs> I've used this 15 times this last month, so quite a lot. Then I've got the Laura Mercier little mini um, setting powder here. This is the loose powder. And this one I have used 11 times. This one's not so bad. I wasn't a fan of it at first, but I have been just putting it on a brush and then just sort of uh, puffing my face. Um, I don't do a lot because whenever I do a lot of loose powder, my face does look very cakey. So I'm not very good at applying loose powder without it looking really bad. Um, but I have found a way to make this work for me. So it's been okay. And yeah, I've used this 11 times. So that one's rolling out. Another one that I took with me is the Brighten Up from Essence. This is the um, 
the uh, press powder. This one I have used uh how many times i used this 14 times this last month but i got a lot of use out of it when i went away i think i used it every day when i went away and i was away for about 10 days so i did get a lot of use out of it then i thought that i was close to hitting pan but still haven't hit pan in this but it will come soon um if i keep using it but obviously i'm going to be rolling it out the the packaging did break though it did, doesn't snap on anymore which is unfortunate thankfully the lid hasn't snapped off completely but i'm sure that's going to be the next thing that goes so i would like like to get more use out of it before the packaging completely breaks on me. Then I've got the Kiko Milano blush here. This is the Tuscan Sunshine Tuscan Iris blush. It's like this duo, but I just uh, use sort of both shades and just go in the middle. It's really beautiful. I had this in last month. Um, this month I've used it seven times. I think I've used it a total of ten times now. Last month I used it... Do, do, do three times. I've used it 10 times in total, which is good. It is really beautiful. I always said it's not very pigmented, but actually it really is. You can build it up. It's this beautiful peachy color. So I really, really do still enjoy that, but that one is rolling out. Next up, we've got my bronzer from Technique. This one is exciting. It's a shimmer bronzer. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but there is waffling. I'm starting to see all the waffling in the packaging. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I certainly can. This is the shade Mandalay Bay, and I'm super excited. I might try to pan this next year if I can be bothered. <laughs> I haven't panned a bronzer, like a powder bronzer, in a whole year so far. Um, I finished one last year, but I haven't done anything this year. But I don't know if you can see the waffling, but there's waffling all around here. Here. and I did uh, it did have more of like an embossment there but it's kind of gone away there's still an awful lot of product in here so I'm not close to hitting pan but that does give me a little bit of excitement this one I have used a lot so this one I've used 22 times so pretty much this is the only powder bronzer I've had this month actually it's the only bronzer I've used <laughs> in the last month so I've used it with all of my makeup I did pull um, a couple of bronze like cream bronzers to use just randomly because I felt like it a few times this last month but to be honest every time I've done my makeup I've used this so 22 times I thought I did my makeup more times than that but I guess not I've used this that many times then we've got the Becca champagne pop highlighter here this one um, I had in last month and I wanted to give myself more time to use it I used it seven times this month. I think I have a total of 10 times now, if I count right. Um, last month, I'd only used it three times. So yeah, 10 times in total. Um, it's pretty. I still don't think it's my favorite. I don't know. I don't know what why I don't think it's amazing. It's definitely not my favorite highlighter in my collection. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I have it now it's pricey I did get it on sale but still you know I just wanted to know what the hype was it's okay I, I just don't think it's worth the money to be honest okay my elf duo this was also in last month I took this with me so I got some pretty good use out of this this month I've used this a total of nine times this month even though I had it in the project last month so last month I used it oh how many times did I use this yeah, last month I used the blush twice and I used the highlighter four times. I didn't count actually how many times I used the whole palette, but this month I've used it nine times in total and I have used the blush four times now and the highlighter five more times. So I have given this plenty of love. I really do like it. I love this yellowy blush. It is the only blush that I have in my collection that is this color. And this is a beautiful inner corner and you know, it's okay as an actual highlight, but I think it's a little bit too chunky for me to put on my textured skin. So I prefer to just put it in my inner corner and it looks pretty decent. So that's most of the time that I've been using it. But this one's gonna be rolling out. Of course, all of these first ones I'm rolling out, so it kind of makes sense. And then next up, I've got all these lip products, which I'm super excited about. So I have now finished using this lip liner from NYX. This is the um, Line Loud in Trophy Life. It is a beautiful color. I actually have on today. I really do like it. Now, I don't really use it. I've been trying to use it as an actual lip liner and I don't really like it that way. What I do is sort of smudge it into my, my lips anyway and sort of um, 
uh, I don't know, just make it a little bit more rough looking, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I like it that way, like a, a blush of colour. And then I have put lip gloss over the top of it and that's made it really nice. Or I just do it as a first base on my lips and then I put the lipstick or the lip gloss or whatever else I'm putting on. So that's kind of how I've been using this one. Um, I've used this a total of six times this month. Last month, I think I used it, how many times? I used it four times, so I've used it a total of ten times, so that is exciting. I did have to push myself a couple times to use it, just because I wanted to get the usage up. It wasn't all natural. Um, lip products are pretty hard for me to use, even though I, ha I do like them and I have a lot. It's just, I just tend to forget about them. And when they, like, rub off after a few hours, I just don't reapply them, which is my fault. But anyway, this next one I'm rolling out. This is the Ofra uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Potion. I really 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 enjoy this one a lot so this one I had last month as well I've used it six times again this month and last month I used it four times so that's a, a total of ten times as well I did try to pair these two together but they're just the shades are this is just too pink and this is too light so they don't really work together very well I think I tried that a couple times and I couldn't make it work and then these two I took with me to England so I got some really good use out of them um, I rolled this one in last month this is the Odin's Eye it's this beautiful colour I love this colour this is the Time Flies I wasn't sure about it when I first got it but I love it it is my perfect autumn colour um, doesn't always look good with my teeth <laughs> makes my teeth look a little bit yellow sometimes or like have had coffee and stuff um which is a little bit annoying because it is like this like darker shade here I'm just not used to seeing it on my lips but I have really really enjoyed it it has like an undertone of like a reddish pink to it even though you wouldn't expect it because it is more it looks pretty brown it definitely has like a mauvey reddish undertone which is really nice um, but anyway, yeah, I've used this uh, nine times. So this is the one that I'm rolling up. I haven't used 10 times, but I don't want to keep it in for one more month just to use it one more time. I'm just going to do it that way. This is the only one that I'm rolling out that it hasn't hit my 10 years goal, but um, I want to roll it out. Even though I love it, 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 I just didn't get a chance to wear it one more time. And then the next one I'm rolling out, this one I had in last month. This is the e.l.f. Um, lip pen and it's the one in tea rose this is beautiful i have a little bit of it on it today it is so lovely it's this beautiful mauvey color um and then this one i have used five times this month and then last month i used it five times so i've used this a total of 10 times that one is rolling out all right and then the rest of these items i'm keeping in so i've been working on the neon from primark this one i have used three times in total i haven't used all of the shades yet and i still need to use it two more times to hit my five times goal so this one is staying in i also have the revolution palette this is the hydra turtle this one i have used twice so this one is staying in as well and I definitely have not used all of the shades yet. So I might have to use this more than five times. Five times is my minimum, it's not my limit. So if I use it more than five times, it's absolutely fine. Just so I can uh, play around with the colors a little bit more. So yeah, I've only really played around with, I think I did, yeah, I, I used some of these neutral shimmers and then I also pulled I think this one here, yeah, I pulled that one and I feel like I did. Oh yeah, I pulled this one as well for a purple look. But really in total, I haven't done too many looks that was used it twice. So that one's staying in. And then this one, my Fête de Provence from Nomad is also staying in. This one I've used twice as well. I have posted my looks on Instagram with this palette. I really do enjoy it. And I, this is the palette that was voted the highest um, in terms of, you know, the next palette that you want me to do a one week one palette. So I'm going to be filming a video with this from my one week one palette. I actually have already filmed a couple of looks. I just need to film a few more and obviously use all the shades because I still haven't used all the shades yet. So this one is staying in. Okay, and then we have my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. This one I am keeping in. I've only used it four times this month. I was working on a lot of primers this last month, so four times is actually pretty decent because I finished a primer. I'm working on No For Primer. I'm working on an oil-based primer. And I had my e.l.f. Putty Primer, my Paula's Primer. So the fact that I was able to use this four times is miraculous. So yeah, but anyway, this one is staying in. 
Um, and then I have this Rimmel London Royal Blush that I had in last month. I only used it once last month. This month I have used it four times, but I'm going to keep it in just so I can use it a little bit more. You can see it's looking pretty gross. I actually put it on today. It's decent. It does kind of rub off a little bit. I'm just not sure if I'm a fan of these types of little blushes. And also I'm not a fan of this color. I'm, I'm realizing I don't really like the true pink blush at least I don't know right now my preferences have changed a little bit but anyway I've only used it five times in total so that one's gonna stay in another month then I've got my Ofra duo here this is the snuggle up blush and highlighter duo compact so this one I have only used five times like the actual compact itself and then the blush I've used three times and the highlighter I've used five times so I want to use the actual compact five more times. If it's going to be five times on the blush or the highlighter or a mix, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, just want to use it uh, at least up to 10 times. I've got my Revlon blush here. This one I have used four times, so it's staying in. I think I'm going to try to hit pan on this next year. I'm trying to figure out which items I want to pan. I'm going to do uh, items I want to pan next year. And this is a contender. I don't know, let me know if you if you want to see me pan this because I do have a little bit of a dip going and it's such a sort of pretty big blush, but I kind of want the challenge. I want a yeah, year long blush to work on. And I feel like, I don't know, I might want to do this one. It's very powdery, so I think I could do it. But anyway, this one I is staying in because, yeah, as I said, I've only used it four times. Next one is the Beauty Bay highlighter in the shade Glaze. This one I've only used six times. <sighs> this one I really don't like. I thought, like, I would... I knew that I didn't like it as an actual highlighter on my cheeks. So I thought it'd be a good inner corner, but it's not. I really don't like it as an inner corner. I, I think it's too pink and not bright enough. I mean, there it looks very bright and blinding, but actually when I put it in the inner corner, it doesn't have that, that, that pop to it. So I don't know, I just don't like it. It's very textured, it doesn't look good on my skin. So I really want to declutter this, but um, I'll keep it in for another month and get my um, 10 uses. So I only need to use it four more times. Okay, and then we've got uh, lip products and a eyeliner. So the Ciate uh, Definer Liner, this one, uh, what shade is this? This is like a golden, oh, I don't remember what shade it is. Anyway, it's like a champagne-y shade. This one I've really enjoyed. I've used it seven times. I will keep it in one more month. I have been actually using it in my waterline. Um, I saw someone else do this and I it, it suddenly dawned on me, why am I not using this in my waterline? So I've been using this in my waterline a lot more now. So I was able to get a lot of use out of it but I still need to hit my 10 uses. And then I've got these three that are all staying in. So I've got two of my Nomad lip glosses. Um, I was trying desperately to use these as much as I could. I didn't think I was gonna use the purple one all that much. This is from their Fête de Provence line. I got all three of them, but I only, actually four of them, but I only rolled in two of them uh, for my Shop My Stash. But yeah, the purple one I have used three times. It actually is really beautiful. And I did a purple look and I put this with the purple look and it worked perfectly. I wouldn't wear it on like a everyday look, but it worked with that color. Um, and then I have this one, which is the honey one. I can't remember the name, but it is the honey one. It looks like it's, it's pink, but actually when you put it on the lips, it is amazing. It's this beautiful golden color, look at that. It is stunning and very interesting to put on the lips, I have to say. But this one I actually took with me to England, so I got some decent use out of it. Um, yeah, I used this one five times, which for me is a decent time, amount of times. But I want to use it five more times, and yeah, this one I need to use seven more times. Seven more times might be hard for this purple one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. And then the last item is my Max Factor lipstick. This is in the shade Rosewood. And this one I actually have on today, and this one I have used five times, so I need to use it five more times. But yeah, really enjoyed it. This is another one where I don't go too overboard with it because I don't like it when it's super pigmented because it has a very, very high shine. But when you like sheer it out, it actually is a lot nicer and it, it looks like a peachy, it looks like a peachy pink when you sheer it out. So I'm enjoying it that way, not so much when it's like full on pigment. Um, 
But yeah, those are all of the items that I have been working on. So as you saw, I have still items that I'm keeping in. I've got three eyeshadow palettes that I'm keeping in, but I am going to be rolling in at least two eyeshadow palettes. So what I've decided this month is I'm going to roll in a random eyeshadow palette to work on, but I want to make sure it's not an, an eyeshadow palette that I've already done a No Pan Left Behind this year, or I've put in a project um, or like a shot my stash. So it has to be a palette that I have not yet used this year or I haven't used all of the shades in its entirety. So that's one. And then the second one, I'm just gonna pour an eyeshadow palette that I want to use. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna replace all these other items. Um, so yeah, let's go shop my stash. All right, so I'm going to do my tiny decisions just to see which palette we should roll in randomly first. Ooh, Nabla Dreamy. Okay, okay, that's fine, I will do that. All right, so the Nabla Dreamy is most likely in here. Yes, here it is. So I have reorganized all this now so it doesn't look like an absolute tip like last time. But this is a Nabla Dreamy, so I will pull this out and I'll use it five times and yeah, try to use all the shades. I haven't done that yet, okay. All right, while we're in the eyeshadows, I will also pull another one. So I'm thinking, I've been saying this for a long time now and I just want to get it done. <laughs> so I'm going to pull my Equalizer Volume 2 out if I can get it out. I just, there's just too much going on here. Here, I'm going to pull this one out finally and get some good use out of it. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. So yeah, this one I'm going to take out. It's probably going to take me two, maybe three months to use, but I don't mind. I'm going to definitely pull that one out. And I also did pick this up when I was in England. This is one of the MAC Dazzle shadows in the shade I like to watch. And I used this once when I was in England and I was so pleased with how it looked. It's, it's a green, but it has sort of that flip of brown, brownish red underneath. Um, I have some shades like this. I really like these types of shades, but I'm gonna take this one out because I would like to use it 10 times. You will see some new items in here. I did do a haul um, and I picked up some new items in England. So yeah, I think also I kind of want to take this one out. I am taking a lot of eyeshadow palettes out, but I do have the neon palette, which I'm only need to use two more times. That's pretty small. And I don't know, I think that Oh, I can't even open this with one handed, but I haven't used this all year. So I think I wanna take this one out as well. Actually, do I really want to? No, let me hold on that because it's gonna to be too overwhelming. Yeah, actually, let me just leave it as it is <laughs> and uh, we'll move on. All right, start down here, which is a strange place to start. I don't usually start here. Oh, this is a new item that I picked up in England. This is from Revlon and it's one of these um, holographic highlighter palettes. So this might be fun to use. I don't know if I want to use it this month or wait more for winter time. Um, I definitely want to take this one out. This is from W7 and it is the Benefit Dupe. It's supposed to be, so I'm gonna take this one out and see what it looks like. Um, you know what, I think, I think I'll take this one out because I've been wanting to use this for a while now and I did mention that. So let me take this one out. This will probably all be all the highlighter that I need this month. Um, eyeliners, I think, I do have the Seattle London one still in. I'm going to take this one out. This is a ColourPop gel liner. This is the shade Amethyst Hour. I'm going to take this one out. I don't think I've used it too much. So yeah, I'm going to pull this one. And then I did get the Max Fix Matte Fixing Spray. And I also picked up this spray as well. So, um, this is a dewy one. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the MAC one out. I do want to, I, I remember using a sample of it and I really liked it. So I'm gonna take this one out and play around with it this month. And then I actually pulled already an Essence mascara out because the mascara that I took to England was just going everywhere. So I've actually ended up decluttering it. So I'm not gonna take a mascara out because I already have one. Okay, moving on to my bronzers and my blushes and highlighters. I don't think I'm gonna take any highlighters out because uh, that Ofra one has a lot. Uh, in terms of bronzers, 
I do have this beauty, this lovely gorgeous delight. Um, this is the one thing that I definitely wanted to pick up while I was shopping in England. I have been trying to buy this online but the shade that I want which is the fair shade is always sold out so I haven't been able to get it. Um, so yeah I picked it up in store and it's beautiful. I haven't tried it yet so this is the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer if you're not familiar. So that one I'm going to use 10 times and then I want a powder one as well and I'm thinking I think I'm going to pull this one so this is my uh, Franken bronzer sorry I'm making a lot of noise this is my Franken bronzer from Revolution I also mixed a lot of uh, um, loose powder in there to try and lighten it and a little bit of a highlighter from Kiko Milano to give it a little bit of shimmer because it was very very matte. So I'm going to take this one out. I would like to get more use out of it since I did franken it and there is a ton of product in here. Oh hello. So I'm going to be taking this one out um, and I think that's all I want to play around with. I do have this. I did buy this uh, also from the MAC counter. This is one of their beautiful um, this is the Fairly Precious and it's their Dimension Blush. It's like a highlighter blush. It is so beautiful. I had, uh, I, I swatched it in store and I could not resist. It is absolutely stunning. So yeah, actually I'm going to pull this one. Um, but I don't think I'm going to pull anything else because I did keep that Revlon blush and I want to get my 10 uses. And I still have that overdue that I want to get to uses. So I think out of this one, that is done. Moving on to foundation, primer, concealer, and powder. Um, I did pick up a few primers. Oh, I did, I did. I got the Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enrich Face Base, which oh, just looks amazing. And to be honest, I'm going to pull this out now. I just don't want to wait any longer. I'm going to definitely um, see if I like it because I haven't tried it yet. And I've been wanting this for a very, very, very long time. So I actually used this a couple times this last month and I'm gonna put this with my concealer because I cannot use this as a foundation. I really tried, but I just look like cake face. So I have a lot of concealer all of a sudden and I really am getting a little nervous about it. So I want, which is my oldest one? I think this was my oldest one at this point, so I've used, oh no, this is my oldest one. Let me take the Candid out and get some use out of it. It's not my favorite, but I, I will try to get some use out of this one. So um, yeah, I definitely need to work on those. I did pick up one new foundation, which is from Revolution. This is the In Real Life Filter. I'm gonna take this out and see if I like it. Um, I'm still working on another foundation in um, a project pan, so if I don't like it, then obviously I have one other one to use for the month. But yeah, I'm going to take this one out. I don't know what powder I want to use. I don't know. Um, maybe... I don't have a lot of powders that I can filter through. Maybe I'll pull this one again. I do like this one. This is obviously my favorite, this glowish one. I just hit pan on that a few months ago. Um, and I had the Odin's, no, this is the Nabla one. This one kind of smells off, but it is a nice powder. Um, I think I'll take the next one out for now, actually. Yeah, let me take this one out for now. Um, it hasn't been too long since I've used it, but I don't have too many, so I just want to filter through them. But yeah, this is just the translucent. HD one, so that one is going. Okay, lip products. Um, <laughs> I do have a few new ones in here. Um, I want to take these two out. So these are the uh, the filter, right? Oh no, the lifter. These are the lifter glosses from Maybelline, and I got uh, three shades, but I just want to take these two shades out because I think they're good shades for me now. So we have um, Amber and Reef. So yeah, I'm going to take these two out. I just think they will look good for now. And then another one that I wanted to take out is this one. I want this Smoothie Stick Lip Crayon by um, the Beauty Crop. I just really like this color and this time of year is perfect for this color. So this one, I was trying to pan a few months ago, but I realized I can't pan it. <laughs> 
not at this point. This is Saucy Marcella, and I really like this color, so I'm gonna take this one out as well. So yeah, these are all the new items I'm taking out this month to work on with all of the other ones that I was still working on. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, it's a good mix of items. It's more, a little bit more full time uh, for me. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you'd like to, as always, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.